Clemson and Liberty duked it out in a hard fought game in which 60 minutes was not enough. The Tigers with the game winner in overtime, 14-13. Liberty's first home loss in nearly four years, Dan. And Clemson came out strong in the first. No question, they got the first three goals of the game on the board, courtesy of a couple of guys like Garrett Brennan. Carter Elliott tried to keep the Flames in the first quarter, but a 5-1 lead they built at the end of one. In the second, this is when the Flames really came alive, courtesy of Carter Elliott. Had a couple of big time plays. Will Geary also had a nice goal. Clemson, though, Kind of shut the door on that and really came on a run, especially late in the second quarter. Took a four goal lead in the halftime. Starting off the second half, it was all flames to once again cut it to one. Yeah, they got right out of the gates four consecutive goals. They outscored Clemson four to one. Keaton Mose with some highlight reels. Ryan O'Connor had a nice goal for the Flames. But in the fourth, it was just a dog fight from then on out. Keaton Mose with a beautiful, beautiful goal here. He had ended up with four goals. But the Clemson Tigers, you know, they had a big time couple of goals themselves late into the fourth quarter. Ryan Reynolds with a big time save here that kept the game tied at 12. And then in overtime, crazy, crazy game. Reynolds with a massive save here, but a crucial goaltender interference penalty on Ryan O'Connor set up a man down opportunity. And the save it looked to and appeared to be for Ryan Reynolds popped out of his stick right into the stick of Costin Pendleton, who ends up with the game winner. Pendleton's fourth of the night gives Clemson the victory on the road. Liberty sees its 18 game home winning streak come to an end but the flames will have a chance to start another one in two days when they host indiana on sunday